I did try it, and it did make me feel better. Some patients are all for it. There's a possibility I could come out of this. Some doctors say otherwise. I think it's very clear. Avoid and try something else. I wouldn't have it myself. Cancer tumours. These days we're better at detecting them, better at surviving them. But the fact is cancer still kills more New Zealanders than anything else. Now some of us turn to this to fight it. Yeah, an orange or actually the vitamin C in here. But we're not talking about eating oranges. We're not even talking about taking vitamin C tablets. Now this is all about concentrated vitamin C. The equivalent, say, of 700 oranges, like these five crates, all in one go. Feeling okay? Yeah, good job. This is how Graham Gager of Christchurch gets his vitamin C. Through a drip, a 50 gram dose. Okay, now again, just let me know if there's any discomfort at all when I start the infusion. Is that feeling okay so far? I feel really, really good. As good as I've felt for a year or more. Graham's battle is with prostate cancer. Oh, well, it meant I was going to die. You know, it meant I had, uh, uh, originally I was given 10 years, approximately. Graham had a tumour cut out, but the cancer came back. How are you doing? Good day? Yeah. At the time I had an eight-year-old daughter, so my doctor actually yeah, said to cool. me, I would be looking to try to make your daughter's high school graduation. That's where I'd be shooting for, which at the time was a bit sad because I want hope to see her go beyond that. I've nearly got the propeller on. Let me try a bit harder. Enter the high-dosage vitamin C. It did make me feel better. It gave me more energy, and it certainly and probably gave me a bit more hope as well, which is a bit of a bonus when you've got cancer, actually. But Graham takes other therapies too, like a plant extract. How do you know it's just the vitamin C that's making you feel better and not the other treatments you're taking? We don't know, do we? Uh, vitamin C is a complementary treatment to other treatments for me. Hello, hello, Graham. How are you? Good. Yeah, pretty good. Graham's doctor, Sue Levin, is sure the high-dose vitamin C helps him and about 20 other patients she's treating. They have a better quality of life. Studies have shown that their quantity of life uh, can be increased and that they can have reduced pain when they are going through cancer treatment. So uh, another hour or something probably. She acknowledges those studies are small and there's been no large trial on intravenous vitamin C. Does it cure cancer? We don't believe it cures the cancer. It has a very strong role to play, but it's not a standalone treatment. I hope it helps me beat the cancer. If it doesn't, it's not the vitamin C's fault. Hi, Kurt. Hey. How are you? At a Wellington hospice, we met Kurt Fillinger. I have acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, it's pretty serious, yeah. My one's pretty bad. Kurt was diagnosed with leukemia late last year. He's had several rounds of chemotherapy to no avail. When I relapsed and it came back, I started feeling weaker and always my body was in a lot of pain and um, I just thought, oh, maybe this is the way I'm going to die. I thought I was going to lose, but my son, part, I thought that I thought, no, no, he's still young, he still have, you know, he still have, um, you know, the energy to fight. Kurt's been on the vitamin C for more than a month. He gets it three times a week. Like, I just feel like I have more energy to move around and stuff. I just feel like drinking all the time and eating, and, yeah, it's a good feeling. The vitamin C's expensive for them. The family's gone fundraising for $300 a week for Kurt's treatments. Yeah, I want to know I tried everything and for me to see Kurt coming out of, you know, this because the doctor's thinking that it will, Kurt will never last. A few people that told me that's probably not worth taking mm. but I think uh, if they're in my position, you know, anything's worth taking mm. and so you just have to give everything a try and just hope for the best. So we've got some patients saying the intravenous vitamin C makes them feel better.
But is that because vitamin C is good for us anyway? Or is it actually having an impact on the cancer? Well, this has been debated for decades, and up till now, there's been no scientific evidence to answer this question. You've done something no one else has done. We have. At Christchurch Hospital, scientist Dr. Marguerite Visses leads a research team from Otago University. I'm right here at three o'clock in the morning doing this, running samples. So we were able to measure very accurately how much vitamin C was in the cancer. Because of those measurements, her team has, for the first time, answered part of the mystery, how vitamin C might impact on human cancer. What we're saying about vitamin C is that it is a player. They know that when a tumour grows, it draws on blood from other parts of the body. They found that vitamin C can control the tumour's ability to get that blood. So the more vitamin C, the less aggressive the tumour? Well, that's what we found um, in the cancer that we looked at. And that's the first time that's been shown in human tumour tissue. It seems a vital link, but it raises crucial questions that can't yet be answered. Some people might think if you bombard that tumour with vitamin C, the tumour will go away. What would happen to the tumour then, uh, we're not sure. But if it does any good, is the high dosage vitamin C the way to go? You may not need such massive doses. We don't actually know that, that, that that's effective at all. Because I think we should do blood. OK. Yeah. But to Sue Levin, Graham's doctor, the Otago University study is good news. I think this is very promising research. It confirms what we uh, had suspected and that um, vitamin C is a necessary part of treating cancer. Yeah, I, I disagree. I, Some I, I think, say just the opposite. You know, I think the, the balance of evidence is quite clear that it's not beneficial. After the break, those against vitamin C. If I had cancer, I wouldn't have high-dose vitamin C. I think there's more, more harm than benefit.